we want to thank you first for being here and supporting tonight's event, Cheers for Charity. It's our first one, and we know it won't be our last. But the reason we're here, we want to talk about it a minute. I know we're all enjoying ourselves, and that's exactly what we wanted. But we wanted to talk a little bit about that, why we're here. Um, the night of December, 3rd, 4th, 5th, everyone's got a different night that it happened. Uh, the wildfire started in Santa Paula and quickly spread. Within a matter of a few hours, it came over the hill and took our house. The Wicked Wire Ranch was gone. Quickly, we learned as we drove down the freeway and watching the side of the avenue on fire and people running, screaming, um, not knowing what to do. The, the fairgrounds was overloaded. People were lined up trying to get in. And within a matter of a day or two, uh, Chris and I realized quickly there was not a lot of direction and there was not a lot of help. And were people telling you where that help was? So we immediately activated our group uh, between our board members and our volunteers at Totally Local BC and said, how can we help? We knew that we had always made the commitment to our community to serve and now we were being called on. We founded the Local Love and 805 program, 805 Strong, and with that, we have been able to help our community. And the reason we're able to help our community so well is through our partnerships with our community and also with our neighbors and partners like FoodShare. FoodShare right now is doing triple time, just trying to keep up with what they're doing to help those people in need. Um, you think about people that were already on the edge and now they're pushed over that edge because their electricity was out for a week or a smoke damage and they're not allowed back in their homes and they weren't insured and there's so many stories. So our hope tonight is to raise some funds to help these individuals, to help FoodShare be able to help those individuals, to help Totally Local VC keep the Local Love Project going and we can only do that with people like you coming out and supporting and we truly appreciate it. I want to in introduce Monica White Bean, and I'm probably saying her name wrong, I always say it wrong, I think, uh, from FoodShare, and she's going to talk a little bit about FoodShare and what they're dealing with right now. Thank you, Kat. Look, they all listen for me, but they don't listen for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to thank Tory Local VC and Kat Merrick for doing this tonight. This is so very special for us at FoodShare, but also a chance to be able to meet all of you. Uh, our house was spared. We feel we have guilt. <laughs> we know that uh, in our neighborhood alone, there were 104 houses, but in Ventura, over 500 people lost their homes. As soon as I knew my house was still standing, I went into work because we had to immediately go to work on our disaster plan. We immediately started loading up trucks, food being delivered down to the fairgrounds. We worked with the American Red Cross, the Salvation Army, Community Kitchen, who was serving all the evacuees, and also, because his meals were so good, all the firefighters. We were overwhelmed with donations from manufacturers such as Foster Farms Chicken, Drove up in a semi with 25,000 pounds of, of uh, frozen chicken. And they wanted this to go to the people affected by the fires. Uh-huh. Help me connect those dots. <laughs> Luckily, food sharing knows exactly what to do with 25,000 pounds of chicken. We gave two pallets to Chef Jason. And within two days, all of that chicken was gone. It was to the 200 pantries, charities, churches, all of the agencies that FoodShare works with every single day to feed nearly 75,000 people every single month. We couldn't do it without our volunteers. We had some awesome volunteers that helped here tonight, helped Kat with their event. And also it's 2,100 people every year who help us make this possible. So thank you so much for doing this. Love you so much. And thank you, everyone. And again, I echo what she said. It all comes from all of you. Um, people have reached so deep to help. And for Totally Local BC, we've been blessed with our new Local Love Project and 805 Strong. We want to thank, in the corner, um, all of our vendors that are here tonight. 
are amazing. They stepped up the minute we asked and said we're there for you. Um, Ventura Strong showed up. They're donating the, the proceeds from their shirts to our program. Um, and also we're doing a raffle tonight. But we immediately, too, were able to call on everyone we knew. Procter & Gamble stepped up with emergency bags um, that we've been giving out. We probably gave out right now almost 3,000. Um, American Airlines uh, blankets that came up and went out. We gave American Red Cross who ran out 300 and then another 300 when they needed them. Uh, it goes on and on and on as she's telling you. And, and we have to just understand, it's not just a month, it's not two months. Um, when we're looking at this, it's a long-term effect that's gonna affect our community and we're talking about almost probably three years um, until we fully we can start to look at being recovered. But tonight is about celebrating, and it's about celebrating how strong we are as a community. Because just as you look around, these are the people in your community that care, that put their hands out and say, what do you need? How can I help? Every single time this community needs it. So tonight is about celebrating you. Thank you for joining us.